You're a robot. It's a big problem for me. A thinking robot could be the end of mankind. Destroy that robot. Burn it to ash. Chubby! Uh, you gotta say it like that. Oh, we're starting with Chubby? Chubby! Yeah, we can say I it. think we save him for last. No, no, man. No, Jenny. You know what? Chappy made us wait, but we ain't gonna make Chappy wait. All right. And the, the, this is, uh, I, for some reason, I don't know why I don't think that a lot of people are going to go see this in the numbers that I thought they would originally. And you would think that they would at first. This is Neil Blomkamp, man. Neil Blomkamp, who brought us District 9. One Neil of my Blanc camp who brought us Elysium. And then he brought us Elysium. <laughs> and people are like, yeah. yeah. Like, you know. and, and, and here's the deal, man. I'm not a big, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Elysium. I, even he said, even he had to come out and say, you know, sometimes it takes a couple of years to sink in. But he came out and used these words. He said, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> Did he really say that? Yeah. I thought that was a little extreme. But, wow. But, uh, Respect. Yeah. So here's the deal. You give somebody a little sophomore slump. Sure. District 9 is one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and, and then he's talking about making that alien film, man. I know. And so I look at Chappie and I said, the, this is uh, Chappie looks promising and I want it to be good because if that's good, then I know he's got the chops for alien. Mm -hmm. And well, we'll save that for a little bit later, man. Yeah, okay. But right now with Chappie, <clears throat> with Chappie, Chappie is... Uh, Chappie started out as a military robot. He was a droid that was serving on the police force of Johannesburg after they had all these, these uh, uh, they, they were relieving the humans and having the robots go out there and do the job. They were indestructible. They, you know, they could work over hours and they didn't, they didn't ask for extra pay. No, it's like yeah. RoboCop 2. And, yeah. And you know what? And they shot everybody as much as they would shoot black people here in America. <laughs> you know, they, they, were, they were kind of colorblind. They saw everything in infrared. So... And they needed it, too, because Johannesburg, they, they, they talked about how crime was crazy. Like, what, about 300 murders a day or something? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty much Mad Max. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's so, somewhere, wherever the, the Australian outback with Mad Max and District 9 universe, they cross over at some point. Yeah. That's what we got here. That's what we got right here. Now, one robot that was always going out, Robot 22, was always the one getting in trouble, always coming back with the most damage, and 22 actually messed with the wrong group of people one day. A few gangsters that said, you know something? If we actually get one of those robots, and the gangsters played by Di Antwoord, yes, the uh, South African rap group, they said, you know what? We owe one big gangster money here. Both of those people are they're they're a rap group. Yeah, they're a rap group. Okay. And they said, you know what? We owe a big gangster here in Johannesburg money. Two, what was it like? Two hundred twenty million. Twenty, 20 million dollars. This is not a job. I don't know how you can owe anybody, yeah. let alone a, a, a street gangster, twenty million dollars. You, you think being a street gangster, you would ask for a reasonable price so you make sure you got your money back? Because you ain't you ain't never gonna get twenty million dollars from Di Antwoord, you know, yeah. <laughs> a rap group. You ain't gonna. Yeah, he's like, all right, you owe me twenty million dollars. We're like, come on, man, really? How much? In this movie, this rap group ain't, ain't they ain't even got a record contract. You asking them for twenty million dollars, please? How about we make this simple? Yeah. Bam! Yeah. But they say this is a job that no human can do. Now, if we can actually get one of these robots to help pull a heist for us and to go out there and carjack people amongst other crimes, we can get that money easy. The only problem is when Chappie becomes sentient, he's like a child. And his actual creator, who is the one that was doing the whole experiment with artificial intelligence, He's afraid that Chappie, just like a father with his own kid, is going to be taught the wrong things. And if he's taught the wrong things, then it's bad for it. this project and anti in any sentient art artificial life that comes after that. Sure. And with this right here, man, it sounds like a great premise. I, 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 I love that whole thing of artificial intelligence. You know, I like the premise up until you got to the second half of describing it. And what, and, and what was the second half of the, all, all that with the, with the getting in with gangsters and becoming a criminal and his, his creator is worried that he's hanging out with a bad influence. That's like, let, let's let's stick to this other part. Just the whole yeah. the whole idea of a, a robot becoming sentient and yeah. having the mind of a child that has to develop. That's actually interesting, and that's the kind of thing you want to spend time with and really develop. And, yeah, and yeah, that tugs at heartstrings. It pulls people in. Once you get into all this crime and gangsters and rappers and owing twenty million dollars 
So we got to to get to pay. Yeah, this, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Thing is, it's hard, Martin. It's hard bringing up a a child, even if it's a robot, because that's the thing. If I was on the the tourist board of South Africa, I would tell Neil Blomkamp, "Look, don't you make another fucking movie like exactly. this." Exactly. <laughs> you, we just got out of apartheid. Don't know. You were scaring people away from coming to South Africa after all those years of apartheid. You tell people that we got aliens walking around and crime so rampant that we got to have robocops. Yeah. And after apartheid, people will believe it. Yeah. It sounds plausible. There, there's some people right now who think that District 9 is actually a documentary. Right. <laughs> they think those insects are real Africans. And, and, and they and, practically and the, shot it that way. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? The thing is with this is that that's one of the things about Neil Blomkamp that I'm, that I'm beginning to kind of see him repeat is that, man, you making – you're just making you, it's, you, you're making South Africa look like the apocalypse now. You're making it look like everywhere in South Africa is run by a Mad Max villain. Hey, here. See, that's a that's a boss out of a video game right there. You that's know? exactly what I thought the whole time. That motherfucker's out of Street Fighter. He's, he's straight out of a video game, a, a boss character, and one of those bosses that can't be killed like all the other hitmen. No. If, if Michael Shannon on steroids was, was the boss at the end of a video game, it'd be that motherfucker right there. Yeah. He looks pissed. The fault wasn't our fault. Come on. Open, open the bag. Droids! And I'm showing this because you can see how well the special effects blend in with the action. That's one of the great things about the movie. These, uh, these look like real mechanical beings, and that's CG, I believe. Or at least a hybrid of CG in... in, in uh, it's amazing. In, 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 it's at least a... Uh, I think it's a hybrid of CG and practical effects. It's your ass, Chappie. <laughs> No, that's the beginning of Chappie right there. And there's where Chappie was born. It's because of that wrecked machine right there that they put the consciousness and the artificial intelligence of Chappie in there. And you see how well you see how well the, the special effects are. I mean, you look at all those robots blending in with the live action in the background and all the motion capture and every, I mean, uh, all the uh, uh, tracking shots and everything. It's, uh, it's amazing, man. You never don't believe it. It, no. it, 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 you, you, you buy it the whole time. No, you, 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 there's not a moment where you look at this. And I'm look, I was looking at it the whole time because uh, Charlotte Copley, who uh, was the, the guy that, uh, that got turned into the insect, he was the hero of, uh, right. of, of the human hero of District 9. He was the bad guy in Elysium. And so you know who we're talking about. He was Murdoch in, 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 uh, in uh, the A-Team, the remake of the A-Team. Oh, right, right, right. So you don't see him in human form here, but they do – just like Andy Serkis or anybody else out there who's doing a, a character that's uh, fully computer generated but needs a, a human actor behind them, they do motion capture with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I will say now for this for this uh, the, the, this group that they have in here, Di Atwood, who is uh, Yolandi and and Ninja, yeah. <laughs> that's Ninja right there, Martin. Yes, it is. They, <laughs> it's the, for a while, for a little while, the heart of the movie is there because it's like. Yolandi, the female of the group, she's like the mother. She's like a really caring mother because these, you can tell she's a woman who's like, you know what? It's gangster shit. I should have thought this through because now I'm getting a mother, my, mother in, my motherly instincts are kicking in. I ain't going to ever have no child with this, with this crazy motherfucker right here. Well, they, they, yeah, she's the mother the way um, a mother like a crack mother is in that she's in a horrible situation, not really being a good parent, but yeah. thinks she is and wants to be. And wants to be. And is not protecting the kid from the abusive uh, uh, dad. And that's the thing. She's a protective mom, but dad's abusive, crazy, and does everything for his benefit. As I said, they want to get this robot in here to, so they can pull off a heist. So he's teaching him all the bad shit, not teaching him a, not one intelligent thing, no. teaching him gangsterism 101. Chuck, if you want to be in the gang, you have to be cool like daddy. Look at daddy walk. Look how cool he is. You need to keep a gangster. Chuck. You need to keep a gangster. Yeah. You have to be cool. Don't laugh. I'm being cool. Ooh. Even when you put a gun, you have to be cool like this. Boom. And you try. No, I can't shoot people. What? I can't shoot them. They didn't do anything to me. How are you going to do 
get the highest with us if you don't shoot people. I can't do a heist. A heist is a crime. I promised. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, let's worry about that later, okay? I got this, alright? You. If somebody really disrespects you, you can deal with them without using a gun. What is it, Teddy? Real gangsters use this. And you can tell this is not going anywhere good with him. No. You know, people are already scared of Chappie, and they're just teaching Chappie all the wrong shit right now. But, and I look at that, and I'm thinking, man, you know, I, I like... I like Chappie in the beginning when Chappie's starting to learn. But uh, I have to say, after a while, Chappie got on my fucking nerves, man. Well, Chappie's a bitch. Chappie's a brat. Ch it's th Here's the thing. When, you, when, you're, when your main sympathetic character is unlikable, that's your first mistake that right is. there. Chappie is a brat. I, I, I couldn't find a, a likable character in this whole movie. <laughs> I, I couldn't either, man. That's a, that, that's a Including Chappie. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with the film. Chappie himself... He's the, I like him more than everybody else in the movie, but everybody else in the movie is a flat character. That's Dave Patel, right? Dev Patel. De Dev Patel. Dev Patel as the scientist that creates Chappie. He's a little he's just a bitch. He I mean he he spends the whole movie either getting pushed around and coming back and slamming on a table because gosh darn it, I'm too weak to do anything. Or he's uh, uh or he's uh, uh he's spending the time like trying to convince convince people. That Chappie is this great thing, but he's too much of a wuss to really push that forward. You know what I mean? And he's too much of a dumbass, too. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, everybody in this movie, all I kept thinking about this movie is like, man, it looks so good. And I've heard good things and bad things, and I'm, I'm pushing that out of my head. And it just kept coming to me over and over. It's like, man, this movie is just, um, it's just dumb. It really is dumb like like the these characters like even like the ones who are engineering geniuses one minute do shit and i'm like that makes no sense that that violates your own self-preservation well why can't you just do this one thing that would change yeah. this the dumb characters the, the gang members they, they they get a robot and they they can only think of the basis dumbest thing to do with it like this whole plan to pay off the drug dealer oh we got to pull a heist well to pull a heist uh, the robots will get us. We need a robot. Oh, well, t I, I tell you what. If we, if we capture the guy who built the robots, we can turn them off. And I was like, this is too complicated. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're idiots, and yet they're able to mechanically fix his arm when it's broken like it ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 people, it goes back and forth like this all the time. People, for, Martin's right. First of all, your character's in there. Your characters are bad, all of them. As I said, Dave Patel, or Dev Patel, he plays your typical nerdy scientist. The gangsters, they're not likable at all. You think they're gangsters with a heart? No. The only one who's really cool is uh, the, the, who, the Yolandi from uh, Diane Word. But those two other gangsters that you saw, Ninja and that Mexican dude, like, they're, man, they're punks. I was watching this whole movie, and I just, I just, I want to beat the fuck out of both of them. Yeah. I said, I said you know what? And there's a part in here where, where Dev Patel gets a gun. I said, if you walked in a room and shot both those motherfuckers in cold blood, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Sure. I went out because they 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 get him, they slap him around, they beat him down, they almost kill him, and they almost times. kill him, and uh, and then they want us to feel sympathy for these people later on. No, that's not how you do this shit right here. Like and these and and, and I'll be honest with you, these guys uh they're not the best actors, no. you know, <laughs> Diane Worth. They're not the best actors, but they 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 carry their own okay. But the worst person in the movie to me was Hugh Jackman. Man, the the way I. I told you this the other day. I was like, man, I know everybody's excited about Chappie, but I saw a longer trailer, and the dialogue seems kind of bad to me. And what, <clears> most of what that bad, bad dialogue I saw was coming out of Hugh Jackman's mouth. And I felt sorry for him. Because, like, man, this is a guy who's proven himself. He's better than this material. Well, you hurting his feelings right now. He's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, they stick him with oh, that my. bad, with that, with, with that <laughs> awful mullet. And then I was just like, the, the, the shit that's coming out of his mouth, I'm like... So you're just going to write him to be just straight up evil, not even no subtlety? That's the problem. <laughs> Hugh Jackman comes in and he's like, I'm bad. Why are you bad? Because my mullet says so. <laughs> and I got to go and I got a beard. You know, it's, and that's uh, that's been a consistent thing through through Neil Blomkamp's movies that we have seen that I've kind of let I've let it pass. Uh, we saw that evil military guy in District 9. Yep. We saw. Charlotte Cop Copley played that himself in Elysium. 
And now we got Hugh Jackman here who is probably the weakest out of all those characters. The reason why is because both Charlton Copley and uh, the other guy in District 9, they didn't play a real big part. We didn't, we didn't see them that much in the movie. I, I beg to differ. Well, at least in, at least in District 9. At least in, you saw a little bit more of Charlton Copley. Yeah. But Charlton Copley, we were kind of taken back like, oh, that's the nerd from District 9. He's kind of a badass right now. I, I, you know what? Here's, here's a big thing I, I think is going on. Is that like it makes me think feel like I need to go back and rewatch District Nine, but I don't want to because I have big fond memories of yeah, that movie. Yeah, you're always, scared. I, I'm scared because District Nine was in you know whatever they speak in South African. I don't know if it's South Africana or whatever, mm-hmm. and we we're reading subtitles, so re- in that way there's that, that language enough of a language barrier where you don't know if acting is good or not. Like I argue with this, argue this with people who talk about <laughs> Japanese uh, you know anime with subs versus dubs. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't know. Okay, with Elysium, we could hear it. And Shoto Copley, the way he speak, he spoke, most of the time we couldn't make out what he was saying. Speaking that fast, thick dialect. Yeah. Hugh Jackman, we can hear him. We can actually hear the words that were printed on the paper, and they are yeah. not good. And, and, and Martin's right. In Elysium, one of the things that I can say is that Matt Damon was kind of dull. Jodie Foster was bad. Yeah. Uh, these people have bad dialogue. And it makes them bad actors. You get Hugh Jackman, who's a fucking cartoon in this. Yep. And then you get Sigourney Weaver. Mm-hmm. And look, I can actually sum up Sigourney Weaver's acting method in one line right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, I, was, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That was Sigourney. Did I, was that Sigourney Weaver? You, are you sure that wasn't a robot? And both these, both Sigourney Weaver and Hugh Jackman are in a scene together. That looks like some goddamn community theater going on. Matt, listen, this is the work of Dion. It's the work of some filthy rogue program that he's been writing. And last night, he brought a droid in here, and it was sentient. And and, and have you seen this? Do you know about this? (laughs) I told him no. So that's a lot worse than just failing to work. So let's use this situation to make a certain other robot shine. Do it. Thank you, ma'am. Destroy that robot. Thank you, ma'am. Burn it to ash. All right. Come on. All right. Come on. Cut. All right. All right. All right. Okay. How was that? Because I just wanted to do a run through on it, so now we can do the real one this time. Oh no, mate. We're good. Yeah. No. <laughs> I thought we were rehearsing. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean you gonna print? No, no, no. Come back. <laughs> don't, don't run with that. Be for real. My career. <laughs> can you? I mean, that's. You ever, do you remember that, that girl in high school who couldn't do her lines? We tell her to act mad, and she would, uh, okay. You know, I was like, wow, that's Sigourney Weaver, people, right there. And you know she can act. This is a person who we begin, we begin to see that, that they cannot really direct actors, at least not in the films, in the films that we've seen with the dialogue that we have. And the whole this this is a story. This story here is very cartoonish, man. It is. I mean, I, I thought that the whole time I was like, you know what? If this is a, a animated cartoon. Maybe I'd be like, hey, that was cool. It's funny because you got that one glimpse where he shows He-Man. Chappie's watching He-Man. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it feels like somebody who wrote He-Man wrote this movie. But let me, let me point out right here. The thing is that there's a lot of things here that seem cartoonish because they come in and people just come up with the dumbest ideas, like Martin said, and they just run with it. <laughs> like, okay, we can do this. These gangsters say, hey, let's, uh, let's kidnap this. They, hey, th- th- this is the idea. Oh, these robots can, with no proof, oh, they got a remote control that, they can, that can be shut off. If we kidnap the guy they created, we get his remote control and shut them all off. That's, a, that's brilliant. That's fucking dumb. Yeah. The other plan is, oh, uh, De- Dev Patel says, comes into the room to Sigourney Weaver and he tells her, hey, I just created artificial life, the greatest thing you've ever seen. Uh, you know we don't do that at this company, so that's okay. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I fucking created life. <laughs> She's like, eh, that's all right. Yeah, you, know. you know, insurance and paperwork. Yeah. I, we don't eh, we're it. not interested. <laughs> I'm like, what? I, I was I was writing this down when I was in the fucking theater. Uh, you know, and the the other thing is that, oh, we're gonna take this robot and we're gonna make him the biggest gangster in the world. You know, that's your plan for a fucking robot? That's your deal right there? A robot that's scared of everything. Yeah. Somehow he's going to be the biggest. Like, I thought even at a point, even they would go like, all right, this is not working out. Nope. 
Nope. Full, no. full speed ahead. No, no. And Martin's right. These are guys who don't know what to do with this robot, but they happen to have spare parts lying around. And when the robot falls apart, they just know how to pick it up and just snap it back on. Yeah. And they cheated, by the way. They fucking cheated on that because there's a part where Hugh Jackman, he captures Chappie and he says, ah, come here, you fuck. I'm going to saw your arm off. I'm a sadistic. I'm a motherfucker. And then Chappie like, no, no. It just, it's severed right there. I mean, he worked to chop that arm off yeah. with a chainsaw. Yeah. It goes back to the gangsters. The Mexican come up here now. This is where it gets racist to me. I know I'm kind of joking, but you know they treat this shit like a Mexican chop yeah, shop. Used to do this back in East LA. He yeah, give him some hydraulics. Yeah, hey Holmes, this is just like a car, man. You know, it's nothing. You know, they they fucking just take his arm off like Legos. Pick another one and just snap that motherfucker right back in. And it's like, and they, and they say, you is it working? Like, yeah, this is actually pretty good. And it's like. If it was easy to like take apart and snap those robots like that, wouldn't you just push them on the wall and they just shatter? Oh, of course. You know, it's, it doesn't make any fucking sense, man. There's one more thing that you left out. What's up? This whole time, Hugh Jackman's motivation is, forget those robots. I developed a moose, which is like an Ed 209 from, from RoboCop. And we can get those out of the way. You can put mine out there because it's going to show you. It's going to be better than those. And when it finally does... It's not a cop robot. It's a murder machine. Yeah. It does nothing but murder people. Oh, yeah. This thing, he's, I mean, and, and really, that's, that's what it is. It, this, they, it's Hugh Jackman playing the sadistic military guy. He, he didn't want that to uphold the law. No. He got that, and he's like, come here, you motherfucker. He started ripping people apart. Yeah, you fucking son of a bitch. Come here. Come here. Like, he was play, like he was that kid sitting in Toy Story playing with yeah, dolls. Yeah. Yeah, come here, you motherfucker. And, and, and Martin's right. This is nothing but an Ed 209 right here. This is reverse RoboCop. This is a, uh, and what I mean by this is, re this is reverse RoboCop because with RoboCop, you took a man and then he got killed and then you turned him into a cold-blooded machine. Now with Chappie, you take a cold-blooded machine <laughs> and you're turning him into a human being. And I mentioned RoboCop because they are ripping RoboCop off left and right in this. If I may, when you show the poster, you should show the poster for the, the new RoboCop. Because this is a lot closer to that one yeah. than it is to the, the original. Oh, yeah. That moose <laughs> machine that you saw, that's fucking Ed 209. Yep. Right down to the storyline. I want to get this guy's robots off the street so I can bring my robot on, robot on the street. Yeah. You know, some old petty shit. <laughs> right. You know? so, man, we, I think we, I think we, I'd be like, man, we work for the fucking same company. I think we'll all be happy in this achievement. Right. Everybody's check got bigger because, you know, I succeeded. You succeeded in that. He's like, no, nah, man. You, and it's really a scene where Hugh Jackman comes in. Yeah, how come you ain't using my robot? No, <laughs> oh, I'm man. I just spent all my time working on that. That's one part where I, I like to go in. Let me get the fuck out of here with that one. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. And, it's, and I can tell you right now that Neil Blomkamp, there was a lot of influence from RoboCop here. He won't say it. Maybe he will. But, but <laughs> How can he not say it? How can he? Because... Even e even in the in the movie, the the robots they're they're saying uh, drop it, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, drop your weapons. I'm like, man, it's not. This is nothing but hundreds and hundreds of RoboCops. Yeah. It's it, it, <sighs> it's like he wrote a a script for RoboCop two that never got picked up and just say like, well, I guess I'll make it my movie. Well, he was out there doing that alien shit. Why not do a RoboCop? <laughs> right. Shit, I, I got a million of them. <laughs> what, what, what else came out in the 80s that I can make a movie? Yeah, shit. Make hey, my own version hey, of. Let me hope somebody fucks up Predator. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> I got my version waiting on it. Man. Yeah, the, the big disappointment in this is that from that first trailer, everybody watched it and thought, wow, Neil Plonkamp plus the debate on AI and when does it become a living creature? This will be this will be really interesting. And oh, Chappy, why are they being so mean to him? You just you just knew you're gonna go see this movie. It's gonna tug on your heartstrings. And you think about it. It give you that that Iron Giant slash ET yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no man. <laughs> no, no, no. Ch Chappy's Chappy's a bitch. Chappy's a spoiled teenager. Yep. And it doesn't help that he got that voice like this. I mean, you know, maybe if he maybe he sound like a goddamn man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could take that shit, but every you know it's important in the movie. We actually tells Dev Patel like he, he you know his real father. He likes his old drunk alcoholic, right? Uh, uh, white rapping, you know, die antwer stepfather, abusive stepfather. But when his real father comes and says, "Chappy, be good," you know, Chappy, why aren't you talking to me? I, I, I heard about you. My dad really told me about. You. I hate you. I hate. I don't you. want to talk. I hate you. Yeah. And it's like, Ben, quit. Shut the fuck up, right. Chappy. Yeah. <laughs> you the baddest motherfucker out there. You you acting like a hoe right now. Fuck you, he was man. The, the whole time. 
Yeah. It, it, it gets on your nerves. It really does get on your nerves. And I really felt for Chappie in the beginning. No, they, and look, I'm going to be honest with you. There are moments in the movie where there, there's uh, no moments of cruelty towards this machine when you, you can't help but feel sorry for him. It's like, you're getting on my nerves, but you don't deserve that. It, well, it is one of these things where like, any kind of creature crying out in pain, even when it's a machine that has no pain receptors and should not be acting like that, even still, it still gets through even the hardest crust Martin. that you kind of like, all like, right. Martin, Martin. The pain was here in this little <laughs> robo heart, man. You know, Chappie feels things too. You uh -huh. know, and that, and it, you can't help but feel sorry for Chappie in part of the movie. The the effects in this, the, I will say, the effect of Chappie in the in the in Charlton Copley's uh, his uh, body acting for this, it was it, it, that was good too. It was you, he really did mimic a creature that was uh, that that was new to life and really afraid of everything. And you know, I just I just wish that. I wish there was more here to really play with that whole notion of AI. I mean, this whole thing was pitched that way. And I even think that Neil Blanc have had that in mind. Like, I'm going to make some profound message about AI. No, it's just about a bunch of fucking gangsters trying to pull off. It turns into a bunch of gun battles. It does. And, and these characters are too flat to add anything to it. So, you know, I... I I, have my, I, I, I really did have high aspirations for this. And I'm I'm gonna wait and get my review so we can see what the audience thought we were gonna give this. Oh really? Yeah. I had my high aspirations for this, but I feel a little disappointed by this. How disappointed I'll find it after Martin gives his little wrap up right here. Oh well, I only feel like I said I I saw enough right before to lower my expectations, so I don't feel quite as disappointed. But when I think about what I saw when I first saw the trailer, I'm very extremely disappointed. A lot of wasted effort and a lot of Neil Blomkamp showing that. You know, he's only got two or three tricks that he does over and over. I mean, yeah, capturing that look, he, he does that great. He's, he's, he's awesome at that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. once again, everything, we, we're dealing with the poorest of the poorest slums, the, everybody who's, who has money or military is evil. Yeah, okay, yeah. man. <laughs> and did you we notice fucking that? Did it. Like, it wasn't just, it wasn't, it wasn't enough for, for Hugh Jackman to just be, just be military. Like, Hugh Jackman in the movie, he had, he had to be, uh, he had to be religious too. He had to be like, I'm so conservative that I I fear this in, this artificial intelligence because it's ungodly. I'm like, yeah, God damn, man, yeah, yeah. come on, just, just kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pull, pull back. I get it, man. And it's too long too. Oh, 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 yeah. That's another thing. I mean, like if you no know, blonde camp was like really young, like not 21 yet, I'd be like, hey, man, you know, he hasn't lived. He doesn't know how complex life is. If he was so, chappy? Yeah, he was chappy. Yeah, that's the thing. This, this, I, I kept feeling like this movie, it feels like it was directed by a robot with the mind of an eight-year-old <laughs> who, who has these kind of sensibilities. And, I mean, man, I, mm, you, you, you brought a lot of good things about it, just technically how great that is and Charlton Copley's, uh, you know, his, his mocap. Yeah. So yeah. that's enough for me to, that's enough to save it from going to some old bullshit because every time I think about the ending and I mean how long it took to get to the ending oh, yeah. and what the ending oh, was. Oh yeah. Who it was pushing it. It was knocking on the door, some old bullshit. But uh I'm gonna go ahead and give it a low rental. Low rental. And you know what? I'm gonna Martin, I'm gonna go the high uh, a little a little, little higher than you and I'm gonna give this a uh I'm gonna give this a good rental. I mean I think it's it's good to watch when you're not sitting there having to put up with all the other bullshit that's in the middle of the movie. Martin, let's see what uh Let's see what people actually thought okay. about uh, about our opinions here. Now, I, I got the poll right here, and I said, you know, what do people predict we're going to give this? Both of us gave this a rental, right? Yeah. Let's see what the people say. Let's refresh the polls right here. Oh, oh matinee. Out of 108 votes, people thought I was going to give it a, they thought Captain Matinee was going to be here. They were <laughs> wrong, but they, they, they were right with you. Oh, they were. You gave it a, you gave it a rental, man. Eh, people know you a little bit better than they know me. I'm a complicated person. <laughs> Tell you something else about this, man. Like I said, I oh shit. You know, I I was so excited about that alien movie. Now I'm thinking maybe maybe you need to leave that shit alone, man. Because that's the thing. Watching watching this, I'm like, wow. It, this falls in place with everybody who came along saying like, no, no, we know how to make an alien versus predator movie. I'm saying it's like, uh, no, you didn't. I'm saying, man, you just fucked up a RoboCop movie. You don't need to mess with the aliens right there. <laughs> no, nah, you about to get in that long line of fucked up aliens movies. Uh -huh. I, either you need to, you already got the project, so I really want you to sit down and think about what you're doing with this because I'm a little worried right now after what I've seen tonight. I am too. It, it, it felt like two years were spent getting the effects right, and then they wrote the script that morning they started shooting. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, like I said, I don't know, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm like you, Martin. I'm, I'm scared to go back and look at District Nine. <laughs> you know, I, I saw, I saw that movie once, uh, right? And it's one of my favorite movies, but I saw it once. once yeah, yeah. I put that. I had this whole thing where I don't like to go to funerals because I don't like to see people in the casket because uh-huh. I want to remember them just the way I saw them when they were alive. <laughs> I do not want to see District 9 dead to me now. Right. <laughs> so I, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to stay the fuck away from that to your next movie, man. <laughs> Until I feel like it's safe to come back in. <laughs> oh, Martin, Martin, Martin. Boy, you know what? I'm a little disappointed, but something that always makes me feel good is a hostess man. fruit pie. A ho- no, Martin. <laughs> no. no, Martin. No, 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 Martin. It's messing with you. No. We got to get you a gold no, star. No. Martin gets a gold stir. Martin gets a gold stir. Or does he? For a year. Or does he? Because as you know how this game is played, we have five pieces of trivia in these games, and Martin has to only get three of those right. Simple enough, right? And if he wins, the prize, it goes to you. But Martin does all the heavy lifting right here. Now, in order to play the game, I got to have a contestant, which means that we got to call you. So I told you before <laughs> how to do that. What I need for you to do, I need for you to get on the emails and email me. Let me know that you want to play a game and put that in the subject line. You can email me at kcoolmans at gmail.com. K-C-O-O-L-M-A-N-Z at gmail.com. Put in the subject line, I want to play a game, and we will get you right on it. And let's see who we have up. Let me pull up, Martin. I should have this always prepared. I never do. I never do. But let me let me pull up the gamels, Martin. Come on, Chappie. I know. I am Chappie. I am fucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see here. We have a <coughs> Gmail. I'm typing it in right now, so get ready, people. I'm giving you plenty of time to get in here. Come on now, baby. Hurry up. Don't leave us waiting. And there's a lot of people want to play a game. Uh-oh. Libby. Libby, I see right here. I don't think we've ever had Libby on. Libby, Libby, Libby. On the table, table, on table. On the table, table. Yeah, yeah I know y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. remember that, but that was a fruit but commercial yeah. back then. Libby, 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 Libby. On the label, label, label. You will <laughs> like it, like it, like it on your table, table, table. Yeah, y'all are like, what the, what the, what the, fuck, 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 y'all talking about, about. <laughs> but Libby wants to play a game. Let's go ahead and bring Libby on to participate here. You know what, Libby? I'm going to bring Libby up on Skype if I can. Ooh. The Skypes. On the Skippy. On the Skippy O. <laughs> on the Skippy Skypes. Play that titty game on the pity pie. On the, on the Skype. On the Skippy Skypees. So, Libby, I'm typing this in right now, so please go ahead and get ready. Let me type in the password right there. Libby, I'm going to send you a request right here. Add contact. And there you are. And Libby, it's to you right now. And while we're waiting on you, <clears throat> I'll just accept my contact. Martin, I'm going to describe to you how this game is played. Alrighty. <clears throat> and see, Martin, you know, when we when, with Chappie, he was very childlike in the film. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was a new sentient being, new to the world. There's a lot of movies out there where we have these artificial beings that come to life, and they're innocent, and they don't know the cold harshness that lies ahead of oh. them. Martin, the way we're going to play this game right here is that in the spirit of something that's very childlike, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna make this simple. I'm gonna use one word, or a number, to describe a very childlike artificial form of life. Okay. And Martin, you have to take that one word. It's not easy. Yeah, don't sound easy. It's not easy. I'll tell you that right now. But with that one word, you need to try and guess what that artificial form of life is. Okay. And I have Libby. She's already up here. Let me give Libby the calls, the video calls. Little Libby just grinning in this picture right here. <laughs> just happy as hell. <laughs> I want to play again. Libby! Hello? Hi, Libby! Hi! Hey, hey. Libby! Oh, Libby, you must have had a, uh, uh, you must have just had some Red Bull or something. Why? Because you're so excited! <laughs> you're like, hey! Yeah, I am. I'm so happy I got a call. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy that we called you. You know, I. Uh, Man, Libby is purdy. Libby is purdy, you know. You know, you know what? What makes me happier than calling the girl? What's that? A purdy girl. <laughs> <laughs> Libby, oh. Libby, <laughs> look at that guy. I love that guy. We get 
we've been getting a lot of girls that giggle. I know. Don't nothing get a guy like that giggle. Libby, I'm going to tell you something. Use that giggle to your advantage. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> there you go. Libby, you, you are such a pretty thing. And I, and I think it would be a shame if we had you on here with your pretty self and you did not go away with a prize. So we're going to get Martin to play this game for you right here. Mm. And Martin, I how, do, how you going to treat her? <clears throat> Martin, no, how you going to treat her? Don't disappoint this girl, all right? Do my best. Do your best, Martin. That's all we ask. Ooh. You got to win for me, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, win for her. She needs that money, man. She needs that $2, man. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get Libby up and ready to play this game. Let me move her over to where I have some of these questions so I can refer to her quickly. And here we go with our first word or letter. Martin. Okay. Are you ready? I guess. I'm not Martin. I don't have my music prepared oh, yet. Hold get, on. Get Martin. your music. Gotta get, you know, we can't have the game without having that music right there. Oh That's Grace the Suspense. All right, Martin, let me bring that up. Come on, get out of there. There it is, Martin. And now we are ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Martin, here we go. Our first thing that we have here, five. Yeah. Five, Martin. That's all I have to say is five. Martin, five. This is a number that is used to describe a very innocent, childlike, sentient being. Artificial being. Mm. Mm. Libby, Libby, Libby looks worried. She's like, Libby, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> No, I have no idea. Martin, you know what? Why don't you pick, pick up that board over there and, you know, just write something down. Just five. I told everybody, you're going to hate me, but I told everyone this is not an easy game. Where Libby, where are you calling from? Me, aren't you? Where are you calling from, Libby? Um, from Los Angeles. Where? From L.A. L.A., okay. But I'm moving to North Dakota, so, like, in a week. <laughs> oh, you can't move to Austin? I got a job in North Dakota, so I'm going to North Dakota. North Dakota? Yeah, you don't want to go there. Damn. Yeah, quit. I have a job for you here. I mean, once you see Mount Rushmore, it's kind of over. Yeah, it's done. Martin, let's see if you're over. Let's see what you got. I got this. Martin. Oh, Martin. I am sorry, Martin. I'm sorry. You are right. (laughs) (laughs) Martin was about to get mad. (laughs) Yes, Five describes Johnny Five from Short Circuit. Back when Adam was hot. Yeah. And didn't look like a wicked step lesbian. <laughs> but but that is it, man. We I'm sorry. That was mean. That was mean. It was I'm, mean. Sure, I'm sure she's still hot today. But Johnny Five was a machine. He was kind of like Chappie. He was meant for military use and then got struck by lightning one day. And then he said, Johnny Five is alive. And Oh yeah, I remember that movie. Oh, oh yeah, now you remember. Now you you don't remember <laughs> shit about that. Try look at her trying to act like she knows now. Oh yes. yeah, yeah, I knew that. Well, you yeah, know what? Wasn't wasn't there an Indian guy traveling around with him? Maybe I was in, in the It was an Indian stereotype and it was oh. and, and it was actually a white guy as an Indian dude. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah, Johnny Five, you're not alive. Yeah, it was oh, a. Okay. Uh, what I think the dude used to date uh, Fisher Stevens. Right? Fisher Stevens, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. And so now with Chappie, they just put a real. Indian They actually guy put in. a real Indian guy in there. So we've we've come a long way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you've come a long way tonight, at least with the first piece of trivia. You got Libby. one. You got one, Libby. Yeah. Libby, you got some yeah. pretty eyes right there. I got what? You. you got some pretty eyes. I know. I she, do. Oh, she, yeah, okay. Was, Thank you. Reminded me of somebody, and I just like I cannot put my finger on it. I like how girl, and she knows it. I know. I mean, she. Oh, knows. Well, well, re, I, no, I have this eyes? person oh, someone told me about my eyes. What's that? <laughs> like the first one, someone has complimented me about my eyes. You're a goddamn lie. That, 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 uh, no, I'm not kidding. Seriously. <laughs> I ought to take this prize away from you. I know. Lying. <laughs> she look. You tell a girl. <laughs> at least. She, you're overacting. That's what you're doing. Look at your eyes. Oh, my eyes. Oh, please. Uh, tell no, me like, more about my eyes. Well, the first time I heard my eyes, I heard other stuff, but not my eyes. Mm, okay. Well, you probably have to stand up for that, but we'll get to that later. Now, let's go ahead and get to... I'm sorry, Libby. I'm sorry. All right, Libby. Let's go ahead and get to our next piece of trivia right here. Let me move down. Martin, this is actually... I believe that this is a word, and Ooh. the word is boy. The word is Boy. To describe you know there's a lot of answers for that pick one <laughs> pick all of them pick all of them you know we get you just need one martin pick one and let's say that we're sticking with science right here okay martin uh, 
Martin is riding up a storm right now. Uh, Libby, do you have any guesses as to what this might be? No idea. I am so bad at this game when you guys play it. Like, I can't guess anything. Throw something out there. I just want to hear what yes. you might No, seriously, I got for boy. What the hell is a vindication boy? I have no idea. Oh, fuck it. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Martin, let's see what you have. Martin has AI. Astro Boy. What? I should know this is bullshit. <laughs> oh, you know what? I ought to take you, man. You... <laughs> Fuck. You know what? I'll give it to you. Astro Boy Cook. <laughs> You're, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The one I was looking for, though, is AI. I was going to give you that one. I was going to give you that one. That was back. That was. It was that phase when. Where we had. Uh, what, what's the actor's name? Haley Joel Osment. Haley Joel Osment. He was still cute. But he started entering that cute but kind of creepy phase right there. I ain't that, cre that creepy about him. Yeah, look at those eyes, man. They, just, those are just his eyes. They picked the perfect kid to play a robot. Well, yeah, he does. Like, the eyes are the same as the teddy bears. Right yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> but in that shot. Yeah. Yeah, now tell me you would like to wake up in the middle of the night and have that kid looking over your bed like that. I would that. like to have no kid looking over <laughs> your bed like that. Wake up in the middle of the night. You hey, kidding? Martin. Martin. <laughs> Martin. Wake up, Martin. I remember, are low. Okay, all right, get out of here. That's the movie that uh, Steven Spielberg took over from Stanley Kubrick, where Haley Joel Osment played an artificial boy, a robot. And he had this whole misfortune of being passed down from family. He was just looking for somebody to love, but everybody said, no, because you look fucking creepy. <laughs> you and that goddamn bear, no. But that bear went on to, to great success as yeah, Ted. That's Ted, that's right. He really didn't make it. It's funny how Haley Joel Osment fell off and that bear went on. <laughs> well... You better be glad that you have your Uncle Martin right here, Libby. I know. He's being so nice. And here's the thing, Libby. You, I mean, we're barely into the game, but Martin just has only one more question to get right or one more piece of trivia to get right. Oh, yeah. oh look at her. She's like, yay. Do, hey, can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> yay. <Yeah. laughs> all right, Libby. I'm rooting for you. I'm hoping for you. But as we all know, this is where the game starts to get a little I know. Hard. It's when you oh, start yeah. getting mean. And that's right. I, that's why I start getting mean. That's where I become the asshole, Libby. So <laughs> let's see if that's the case right now. Every now and then I feel generous. Every now and then I feel generous. So Maybe more. you should be with me. What? What'd she say? Maybe what? you should be generous with me. Oh, I thought she said maybe you should be with me. That's I what I thought she said, too. I think that was a slip right yeah. there. Yeah, no. yeah, you know. yeah, I think that was a little Freudian slip right there. Hey, you married, man? I'm engaged. Engaged. Okay. Well, you can't be talking like that now. I don't want your your, your boyfriend coming after me. I know you me. see him coming to the frame. I, I got I got evidence right here. You heard him, man. He <laughs> just snap off your web. <laughs> uh, game He's over. She got to go. <laughs> He's in a different country right now, so he can't find oh, out. That's why you can talk off. Different country. Yeah. That's why. Are you engaged to somebody in a different country? Because he's visiting his parents right now. Uh -huh. oh. And she said, "That's why I can talk all that shit right now." Uh huh. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and get to our next. Uh, our next uh, word right here. Martin, yes. our next word is actually not a word. It's a number. 200. 200. Ooh. 200. Martin has 200 things going through his mind right now. Boy. But he's writing it. He's writing it. Come on, Yay. Libby. Now, Libby, I know you know this one. Come on. 200. No. I'm really bad. <laughs> I said that I was really bad. You're like, I have no fucking clue. But Martin oh. seems to know what he's doing. Martin. Maybe. Maybe. You know what, Martin? I'm not going to even waste any more people's time. Martin, let's see what you got right there. Oh, Martin, you son of a bitch. You make me sick, man. All right. Yeah. Bicentennial Man, yes. Bicentennial Man. Also titled is Robin Williams still standing behind my back looking scary. <laughs> we have, This is the one where... Yeah, we, you can't tell which one is the robot. You can. I know which one is scarier, though. Robin Williams. Look how crazy he looks in that poster right there, man. It's funny that they gave the robot his chin. It's funny they gave the robot. You know what they did? Yeah, look at that. So if you ever want a Robin Williams sex robot, you can get it. <laughs> There's the beginnings right there. Now, this is the one. It was a uh, Chris Columbus movie, I think. Mm, and this is where right. Robin Williams was an ordinary robot who, over 200 years, ended up being a real person. So we got, oh, well, you know what, uh, Libby? You've won it. Mm -hmm. you, you've actually won Thanks this. Thanks for playing. Yeah, Libby. Yeah, Libby. All right. Well, you know what? I'll be emailing you your. Pro oh, wait a minute, Libby. I'm looking right I here. Know. Libby, I got. Wait a minute, Libby. I got two more pieces of trivia right here. And, Libby, thing is, 
Normally, I would shuffle people along and say, go ahead and take your winnings. I, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. But Libby, I, I, I like you. I like spending mm-hmm. my time with you. Hey, look. Let's, you know, the, the boyfriend ain't in town. It's just you and me and Mark. Let's play, let's play a little bit more, huh? We got a little bit of extra time. What do you think, huh? You, sure, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? All right. She said, why not? Okay, l- let's go. Let's go. And I, Martin, Martin, Martin will win. I know he will. You think Martin will win? Okay. All right. Oh, and Libby, I'm sorry. You know, I love hanging out with you, but if you do take this and you just did, then, uh, you know, you lose all your winnings if he doesn't get this one right. It's, it's okay. I'll survive. I'll survive. You think he'll get by? Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I will. Okay. Right. Okay. That's that denial phase right now, but we'll let it happen. <laughs> all right, Libby. Let's go ahead and go to our next one right here. Oh, Martin, I know you got this one. I thought I had you, but you've been too good at this game. But here we go, Martin. Your next word is inflatable. Inflatable. Libby, come on. God damn, I know you got this one. Inflatable. She like, oh. the, the, the movie or the... Uh, never mind. Never mind. No, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> At this point, I don't care anymore. You don't piss me off getting all these. And Martin is right in the way. Libby, I think you in good shape. I think you picked the right game on yeah. the right night. <laughs> yeah, Libby. Libby, how old are you? Uh, I'm 24. You're 24. Okay. You should have. How old do you look like? How old do you look like? Forty-three. Mm-hmm. Great. <laughs> In dog years. No. 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 Martin, what you got? What you got? Okay. And Martin has big hero six. And Martin, oh, Martin's yes. like a big Jesus. hero dick for all. Like Martin, yeah, he got it. He's got it. That's the one where. We have an inflatable robot that hangs out with a little dark-haired Ellen DeGeneres. So, <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a little boy that we say is Asian, but dare you to prove it. <laughs> but no, looks nothing like it. Looks, you know, he looks like he looks like a white kid trying. He looks like a white kid at a, at an anime convention, right? <laughs> Try, <laughs> trying to be Asian. <laughs> All right, L Libby, Libby. You know, you been you and Martin. You two. You two make a great team. You two make yes, such a do. great yes, team, Libby. We do. Yeah, we do. We're great together. You are great together. Libby, I think it's a shame to break this up early. <laughs> you two make such a great team. I say let's keep going. It's been good so far. I mean, come on. He's on a winning streak right now. He's so good at this. And look, I can't fool him too many times with this. I mean, how many <laughs> artificial mm. beings that a child like that can I put out there? Mm. What do you say, Libby? What do you say we keep going? Mm, okay. Okay. Oh, dang it. All right. I was hoping she'd be the one to go like, nah. Nah, Martin. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah, I have hope on you, Martin. I really do. <laughs> all right. I'm going to try, but I, I think I've run through my roller decks of all these. She oh, believes yeah. in you, Martin, and I believe in you, too. Okay. So all, the, all, right. all the other toasties out there. Okay. All right, Martin. Let's go ahead and let me move Libby over a little bit. And we'll... Hey, don't put Libby in the corner. <laughs> No one puts Libby in the corner, Martin. No one. Unless you lose. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Libby, I forgot to tell you, the same thing goes for this. You get it wrong, you get nothing. But I'm, yeah, sure, yeah. That that's, I'm sure that's not going to happen, Libby. All right, Martin, mm-hmm. are you ready for your last? Sure, okay. Sure. Let's, let's get this over Let's with. get this over with. All right, Martin, your last word is sharp. 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 <laughs> sharp. sharp. Libby's looking. She's joining in, too. <laughs> Hi, L- Libby, how you say that? Say it, say it again. Say it. Sharp? Sharp. No, say it like you said last time. Say sharp. I don't know how to say it. I said sharp. What the hell? That's exactly what I said. Say it. say it like I said. Say it with me. Say sharp. Sharp. Oh, that's good. I love that. I love that. That was sexy. I like that. Was Let's that see if Martin is sharp enough to get this. Martin, what do we got here? You motherfucker. You. <laughs> You are, uh, Martin, you are right. Yeah. Every scissor oh hands. God. All right, Libby, all right. Aren't you glad you stayed? Yeah. Libby, Libby, you are a winner. Look at that. Yes, oh Martin, God. win for you. Yay. <laughs> wow, oh I'm going to my, know, right? my face right there with his. And everybody knows, you know this movie, right, Libby? No, I don't. No. You really don't know Edward Scissorhands? Hey, man, that much time oh, has passed. Yeah, well, I'm stupid at these games, but I know the movies. <laughs> okay. Oh, all okay. Right, all right. You're confusing me right now. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. That's the one where, that's the one where Vincent Price created 
his own boy, except he ran out of money and <laughs> I guess he couldn't He's, make it. What he started with a with a with a, a sewing what machine or something that, that clipped garments. Yeah, he like he he started out with cheap materials, finally got some money, to make a, a like the rest of the boy, and then ran out of money when it came to the hands. No, no, he and, got the he made the hands, but he died before he could put them on. Remember, he has the heart attack while he's holding. Oh, them? that's right. And when he dies, the hands get impaled on the scissors. It's and, like, and, well, now nobody can use them. I know, and now and then Edward Scissorhands stand there like, "Well, thanks a lot." Now I can never jack off. <laughs> You're like, "Well, I get I get masturbations out the question here." <laughs> Who doesn't build the hands early on? Yeah, that should have been the first fucking thing you made, or at least take the blades <laughs> off. Just saying, <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. Like, I'd rather you not have. I'd rather you just not put anything there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could at least like got me one of those military appendages or something. Yeah. You know, you put scissors. <laughs> Shit, I can hurt people with really. God damn. <laughs> All right. All right, Libby. <laughs> Libby. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <laughs> he, got, he was cutting himself up, and she's like, "What the fuck would you give me scissors for hands?" Yeah, he'd have cuts all over his face. Yeah, yeah you could. I mean, you could have gave me pillows for hands. You gave me fucking scissors. Fuck you, or Vincent Price. Nothing for hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Libby's having a good time with this. Look at him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And uh, with scissors, you keep talking. I'm gonna use these hands on you. <laughs> Every time a mosquito came in the house, he's like, oh, no, not this again. Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, Libby, Libby, you are a winner. I see why you're so happy. You won, Libby. You won. Yeah. And, and you got a little bit of a bonus there, too. You know, Libby, I'm going to send your prize off tonight because I like you. Kid. I like <gasps> really? You. That's oh, right. that's so nice. That's right. that's right. You can go out there and get yourself something from the dollar menu tonight. So good for you. <laughs> good for you. I'm into the dollar menu, so it works out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to send this over before Taco Bell closes. So I look for it, all right? <laughs> I am consciousness. I am alive. I am Jeppy.